welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today on Family First, we're taking a look at a kid's game with a frightful theme. Yeah, for some reason kids like dark, mysterious, spooky things that go bump in the night. Me, I'm still afraid of the dark. It's a game by Zoc that plays three to four people ages eight plus in about 20 minutes. It's all about vampires and trying to survive the night. We're looking at Bite Night. Let's check it out. The game includes a deposit mat, scoring sheets, 50 moon tiles of five different images in five different colors, a starting player card, 36 cards, plus nine additional cards if you'd like to play with the advanced rules. The number of tiles, the number of cards, and how many rounds are played is determined by the number of players. The basis of the game is set collecting, Cards will give you point values on different sets of moon tiles you're able to collect. Some cards have abilities that will affect the game. There are two phases to the game, placing rendezvous cards and grabbing moon tiles. Let's take a look at how they work. From the cards in their hand, players will select one card that they will attempt to fulfill in the draw tile phase. These cards are placed in order face down on the coffin. The rest of their hand is set aside and they draw three tiles. This is the grab moon tiles phase. Players simultaneously reveal their tiles and from the play area every player grabs three, attempting to fulfill the card they played. However, as the rendezvous cards are then revealed, each player will get points if they fulfill that card. The player with the most points at the last round will win. And that, my friends, is Bite Night. It's a nice little twist on a speed set collecting game. I'm sure kids are gonna enjoy it. I was just glad that they went with Nosferatu and not some sparkly vampires. I'll talk to you again soon.